and in this video we'll see the method one that is method of grouping in Lagrange's equation uh, method of grouping and how we are going to solve it okay so method of grouping see the uh, Lagrange's auxiliary equation is this right dx by p is equals to dy by q is equals to dz by r the given like uh, the given equation you will convert it into this form and after that what is the step one take any two mem members and solve it okay koi bhi do members you can take these two you can take these two or you can take this two okay your wish you can take any two members and you're going to solve it solve it matlab kya you're going to integrate it okay i took dx by p and i, I took dy by q so i'm going to integrate it okay iska jo bhi answer aayega that will be what c1 okay i'll consider that to be a constant c1 suppose next the second method is second step is to take the other two members and solve it suppose i took this two right dx by p is equals to dy by q then i'll take the rest two dy and dz or you can also take uh, dx and dz okay any one your choice so you are going to take another two and we are going to integrate it solve karna matlab you are going to integrate it is going to integrate karne par i'll get another uh, constant that is suppose c2 theek hai so my my aim my uh, aim is to do what to find the solution right so that the general solution will be f of c1 comma c2 is equal to c2 ठीक है जो भी मुझे सी वन एंड सी टू के वैल्यूज आएंगे आपको ये फॉर्म में लिखना है एंड देन आफ्टर दैट पिक करनी टू इंटीग्रेटेड पिक दी रेस्ट टू एंड इंटीग्रेटेड सी वन सी टू यू गेट फुट इन दिस फॉर्म ठीक है जनरल सोल्यूशन प्रॉब्लम सो दैट इट विल बी क्लियर फॉर आस की है क्या नॉट वी गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट ओके लेट मी जस्ट रीड दिस फॉर्म ओके सपोज दिस इज योर गिवन क्वेश्चन p tan x plus q tan y is equals to tan z ठीक है तो कंपेयर द गिवन विद कैपिटल p स्मॉल p प्लस कैपिटल q स्मॉल q is equals to r दिस इज व्हाट लैग्रांजस फॉर्म ठीक है पहले सॉरी ओके सो हियर इफ यू सी व्हेन व्हेन आई एम कंपेयरिंग आई हैव गॉट स्मॉल p एंड द रिमेनिंग टर्म आई कैन कंसीडर दिस टू बी कैपिटल p राइट मतलब स्मॉल पी का कोएफिशिएंट इज कैपिटल पी ऑब्वियसली स्मॉल पी का कोएफिशिएंट इज कैपिटल पी स्मॉल क्यू का कोएफिशिएंट इज कैपिटल क्यू सो हियर दिस विल बी पी दिस विल बी क्यू एंड दिस इज माय आर राइट सो पी कैपिटल पी इज tan x कैपिटल क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू tan y एंड कैपिटल आर इज tan z वी गॉट पी क्यू एक्स नाउ द लैग्रांज लैग्रांज इज ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन इज व्हाट dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by R okay so now I know the values of p, q, and r right so I'm going to substitute it the uh, substitute this dx by tan x is equals to dy by tan y is equals to dz by tan z okay next after this I need to take any two equation I need and I need to solve it equation मतलब I need I need to take any two members any two terms and I need to solve it I'll take for example d uh, dx and dy terms okay So this will be now what equating one and two d uh, dx by tan x is equals to dy by tan y. Now this is like this, right? I love dx by tan x is nothing but one by tan into dx, right? S e and I a, right? And also this one, this is one by tan y into dy. So one by tan x is what cot x, right? Here also we have seen that one by tan x is what cot x. One by tan is cot. Same here. 1 by uh, tan y is cot y. Done. Okay. I'm differentiating with respect to x. So, मेरे पास x का term होना जरूरी है यहाँ पर भी. I'm differentiating with respect to y. Then I must have a y term here. Okay. If I don't have it, I cannot differentiate it. Okay. Next. So, I'm going to uh, integrate this. Not differentiate. I'm sorry. Integrate. I'm going to integrate this. Okay. Cot x का integration is y. Log of sine x. Then. Cot y का integration will be log of sine y. Along with that, I'll get a constant. I'll write a constant. Suppose c1 is a constant, and as I can see here, I've got log and log. So I'll write log c. Okay. Instead of writing just simply c, I'll write log c. Done. Next. Uh, see, the general solution is what? F of c1 and c2, right? So I need what? C1 ki value. I know I don't need the extra terms here. So I'm going to send this log sine y to the other side. It is adding here goes to the other side. It will subtract. Okay. So log of sine x minus log of sine y is equals to log of c1. Done. Now here this is in the form of log m minus log n, right? So log m minus log n is what? Log m by n. So that's what I'm writing. Log m by n is equals to log c1. Done. 
So I need only see so that's the reason I'm going to cancel out the slots. So C C1 is now what? Sin x by sin y. Right? Simple. I got C1. Now the step 2 is to what? Take another 2. Suppose I'll take dy and dz and I'll integrate it. I'll get C2. So uh, I'll write C1 and C2 together. That's my general solution. So I'll write it in this one. So it will be my general solution. Let me just erase it and write it down quickly. Okay, so the next two terms are dy, uh, dy by tan y is equals to dz by tan z. So I'm going to take this. So 1 by tan y is nothing but cot y. And 1 by tan z is nothing but cot z. So I'm going to differentiate it now. Cot y into dy is equals to cot z into dz. So I'm going to integrate this. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to integrate this. So cot uh, integration is log of sin y and cot z cut integration is log of sin z along with that i'll get a constant so i'm not writing just simply c2 uh, simply a constant I'll, I'll write log along with it because i've got logs here for eliminating log that's why i'm taking log of c2 done now i need the value of c2 so what is extra here log of sin z is extra so i'll send it to the other side here it is adding most to the other side it's a crux so log of sin y minus log of sin z is equals to log c2 done now it is in the form of log m minus log n. So log m minus log n is log m by n. Okay? Which is equals to log of c2. So this log and this log gets cancelled, doesn't it? So now c2 is what? Sin y by sin z. Done. So I got my c1 and c2. This is c2, this is c1. So I'm going to substitute in this the general solution. Okay? Uh, general solution. Okay. The general solution is what? F of what is C1? Is it visible here? I'll write it here. F of what is C1? Sin x by sin y. And what is C2? Sin y by sin z. So that's what I'm writing. C equals to C. Done. That's it. Simple. Easy. Okay. We'll see one more problem. Okay, the next question is P Y Z plus Q Z X is equals to X Y. So here small p ka coefficient is capital P, we know, right? So, uh, small q ka coefficient is capital Q, and this is R. Malab, this is in the form of capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equals to R. Isn't it? When my capital P is what? Y Z. And capital Q is what? Z X. And capital R is what? X Y. Done? Now. The auxiliary equation for this Lag uh, Lagrange's form is what? dx by uh, p is equals to dy by q is equals to dz by r. Right? So I'll substitute p, q, r. What is p? y, z, isn't it? Now, what is q? z, x. And what is r? x, y. Done. Now what I need to do? I need to take any two equations and I and integrate it. Solve it. So I'll take the first two. So equating 1 and 2. dx by y, z is equals to dy by z, x. So here if you see, this z and this z gets cancelled out. So what I'm left with? dx by y is equals to, yeah, dy by x. So what I'm doing? I'm cross multiplying. Why? Because I want to integrate with respect to x, but I've got no x term here. And uh, similarly, I have to integrate with respect to y, but I've got no y term here. So simply I'll be cross multiplying. Okay? So this will be now what? x dx is equals to y dy. Done. Now I can integrate this. Integrating these two. So x ka integration is what? x square by 2. And y integration is y square by 2. Plus a constant. Suppose c1. Okay? Done. Now I need the value of c1 for my uh, general solution. Uh, so what will I do? This is extra. So goes to the other side. Here it is adding. Goes to the other side. It's subtract. So x square by 2 minus y square by 2. 2. Done. This is my equation. Uh, sorry, this is my C1 key value. Done. Next. I can take these two, the first and third, or I can take the second and third. I'm going for second and third. If you are taking first and third, what will you do? In first one, first and third, what is common? I mean, what is similar? Y and Y. So I'll cancel out Y and Y, then I'll cross multiply X with DX and Z with dz if you are taking 1 and 3 but in this case i'm taking 2 and 3 so 2 is dy by dz sorry dy by zx is equals to dz by xy okay so here 
what is extra here? Matlab, what is similar here? X and X. So it will be cancelled out. What I am left with? dy by z is equal to dz by y. So obviously same this, uh, same case, here I have to dy se integrate karna, but I have got a z term. And similarly, I need to integrate with respect to z, but I have got a y term. So I cross multiply it simply. Okay, so it will be y dy is equal to z dz. Done. Now I need to integrate this. Now I can integrate this, right? So integrating. So y integration is y square by 2. With respect to y, it will be y square by 2. Uh, with respect to z, it will be z square by 2. Plus a constant. Okay, c1 is done. I'll take c2. Now I need the value of c2. What is extra here? z square by 2, right? So I'll send the z square to the other side. It is the adding the most to the other side, subtracts. Okay, don't write it 2 by z square because it is going to the other side too. Okay, I think if you will know this, but still, okay. Next, c2 is equal to y square by 2 minus z square by 2. Done. I got both the values, c1 and c2 constants. Now, my final equation, my general solution is now what? f of c1 comma c2 is equal to 0 is my general solution. So, c1 and c2 ki values I am going to substitute simply. So, c1 is what? x square by 2 minus y square by 2. This is c1 done. Now, c2 is y square by 2 minus z square by 2 is equals to 0. Now, this is your general solution. Method, when method of grouping Lagrangians is very easy, okay? There is nothing much to explain in this matlab. If you try it one or two times, we'll get it. And mostly, I think it will be asked for two marks or maybe four marks if it is asking any wrong questions, okay? So, that's it for this video. I hope you understood this, okay? In the next video, we'll see what is method of multiplying.